number system is a base 10 number system. We've talked about this before. It takes a group of 10 to make the next largest place value. Or if you're going in the opposite direction, if you take a larger place value and divide it by 10, you would get the smaller place value. The same is true with our decimal places. If we have a 1, picture one whole square. If you divide it into 10 or divide it by 10, then you would get tenths, 10 parts to make the one whole square that you just broke apart. If you take one tenth and cut it into 10 new pieces, then what you have is a hundredth of the whole that you started with. If you take a little bitty hundredth and you break it into 10 pieces, which is dividing by 10, then you would get a thousandth. And so as we move to the right in the place value system, the value of the digit, in this case a 6, is going to get smaller. This is six ones, which would be six holes. If you move the 6 back to the tenths place, it is not the same value as it was before. It has become smaller because as you move back to the right, you are dividing the value by 10. Same thing again. If you take a tenth and you divide it into 10 smaller pieces, then now you have a hundredth. And so this six in the hundredths place is not worth the same as six tenths, nor is it worth the same as six holes. The rule is as you move the same digit to the right in the place value system, it is divided by 10. It becomes one tenth of its original value. The opposite is true if you're moving to the left. This was two little bitty thousandths, then two hundredths, then two tenths. If you're moving the same digit to the left in the place value system, it is actually becoming worth more. If I fill in a zero at the end of this number, then I'm making an equivalent decimal. We'll talk more and more about this. But you see now that I'm going to the thousands place, which is where I was going before. And now I have zero and 20 thousandths, as opposed to just two thousandths. Well, two thousandths compared to 20 thousandths, two times 10 would get me up to 20 thousandths. If I fill in these empty place values, because I had 0 and 2 tenths, if I go ahead and fill it into thousands so that it goes to the same place value as my smallest decimal here, then now I see 200 thousandths. 0 and 200 thousandths. Well, in, when I was talking about the hundreds place a second ago, I had 20. Now I have 200. 20 times 10 would get me the 200 thousandths that I have now. So as you move the same digit to the left in the place value chart, it is multiplied by 10. Every time you move a place value, it's multiplied by 10 again. And so its value becomes 10 times greater than it was. Now if I was going to compare this 2 in the thousandths place, to this 2 in the tens place, then I have to see how many moves it has made to know how much greater it was. It moved one time to get to the hundreds place, and then a second time to get to the tens place. And since every move in the place value chart to the left is 10 times greater, then it's 10 times 10, which would be 100 times greater. So this 2 in the tens place, because it moved twice, would be a hundred times greater than the two in the thousands place. We're going to use place value to help us decide which of these statements is true. I notice that each one starts with the three, the three, the three. So I'm going to come up here to my two numbers and I'm going to look at the threes. This three is in the thousands place. This three is in the hundredths place. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the zero afterwards since that three wasn't there. So I've got three thousandths.
compared to 30 thousandths. Zero and 30 thousandths. Well, three thousandths compared to 30 thousandths. Three thousandths is less, and 30 is more. 30 thousandths is more than three thousandths. So now I'm going to read my choices and see which one tells me that A is less or B is more. All right, the three in number A is 10 times greater than the three in number B. Well, number A was less, not greater, so I know that this one is not true. The three in number A is one-tenth of the value of the three in number, I said A again, let's make that say a B. Sorry about that. The three in number A is one-tenth of the value of the three in number B. Okay, let's see, that's saying that A is smaller than, one-tenth means it's been divided by 10, the three in B. Well, so A is smaller than B, is it one-tenth? Has it been divided by 10? To see that, B started in the hundredths place. This three is in the thousands place. So to move from the hundredths place to the thousands place, that would be a move of one place value to the right. And every time you move to the right, you divide by 10. So I believe that this answer is true. But you know we read all choices, so let's read C. The three in both numbers have the same value. Well, that's not true. We said A was less and B was worth more. So this is not it. My answer must be B. I would like for you to use these place value patterns to help you answer these three questions in your math journal.